you could see that if we have various vectors, for example, we could have vector A, which would be equal to 2.0i plus 2.0j, vector B, which equals 1.0i minus 3.0j, and vector C, which equals 4.0i plus 4.0j. And let's put these all in meters. You can see that we have vector A, which looks something like this. Vector B, if we were to add these together, A plus B plus C. A would look like this. B is 1, negative 3, so it would look something like this, perhaps. And then C is 4 and 4, so it's going to be much longer and supposed to be in the same direction as A. We could get our resultant vector, which would be this vector right here. In order to figure out R, the resultant vector, we could then simply go through and use the unit vectors. The easy way to add this all together is to do A, which is 2i plus 2j, plus B, which is i minus 3j, plus C, which is 4i plus 4j, that's all equal to the resultant vector. In order to figure out the resultant vector, what do we do next, Ms. Song? Um, you combine all the i's and j's? Sure, go ahead. Uh, uh, so 2 uh, plus 1 plus 4 i plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 j. So we could see we have 7.0i uh, plus 3.0j is our, in meters, is our resultant vector, the result of the addition of all of those vectors. And you could see that having unit vectors makes this very simple. Rather than needing to break A, B, and C into the components in the X and Y direction and go through and figure out a right triangle, figure out the sides of the, both of the sides of the result triangle and then figuring out that whole piece, you can see it's a lot easier to simply use unit vectors. All right. Um, let's see. So you can see we could do things like, all we did there was A plus B plus C. You could also do things like 2A minus 3B plus C to get to a resultant vector, where you would simply multiply the scalar 2 times the quantity 2i plus 2j, for example, for 2a, and various things like that. We're not going to walk through that. That's just so relatively simple math. Let's do, instead, a different example. In physics, so far, we have had different position vectors. We've had the x, which would represent position y, which would represent position. We've also had z, if we're talking in three dimensions, that would represent position. 